Hello, boys and girls. This is your Peter Pan storyteller. When you hear this sound, turn the page. Now let's begin our story on the title page. Fred and Barney in Circus Fun. Story by Horace J. Elias. A Peter Pan narrated book and record. One day, Fred Flintstone heard that the Rockling Brothers Circus was coming to town. He got on the rockophone and called Barney Rubble. Soon, they decided it would be fun to join the circus for a day. Fred hurried right to Barney's house and they tried to decide what they were going to do in the circus. Inspired, Fred said, Yeah, but about you? Let's be clowns! The circus always needs clowns, and you don't have to know anything. You just put on a clown costume and a funny face, and act crazy. Let's go! Fred and Barney went to the circus, where they marched right into the clown's tent. There, they helped themselves to two costumes and put on some clown makeup and wigs and big noses. Fred looked at Barney. Barney looked at Fred. You're the funniest looking thing I ever saw. Answered Fred. Don't be ridiculous. That's how we're supposed to look. Come on, the show's gonna start in a minute. They hurried to the place where the rest of the clowns were standing, waiting for the show to start. Hey, said the boss clown. Who are those two guys? Must be a couple of new clowns, said one of the others. I don't care who they are, cried the boss clown. They're wearing my very best costumes and my makeup. Let's get them. Well. The whole pack of clowns started after Fred and Barney. But just then, the band in the big tent started up the music. The circus was underway. Fred and Barney had to run into the big tent because the clowns were chasing them. And what a sight! Thousands of people watching and Fred and Barney running for their lives with all the clowns after them. First, the two clowns threw pies. One hit Barney and one hit Fred, right smack in the face. <clears throat> Call it Fred through the sticky sweet stuff. Ooh, yelled Barney. They both kept running, even though they couldn't see very well and they ran right into the circus's herd of elephants. Now, one of the elephants, a fellow named Big Squirt, had just taken a trunk full of water. He let it go all over our two friends. They got soaked, but at least it washed away the pies and they could see again. The next thing they knew, they heard the roar of a motor. The boss clown had started up the clown's trick car and was after them. Fred and Barney ran in and out of one ring after another. They upset tables, stands, popcorn cellars, and anything else that got in their way. As they passed the big train tiger and lion ring, one of the tigers took a swat at Fred. The animal tore Fred's clown suit, and this made the boss clown even angrier. Finally, Fred saw the big pole set up for the high diver and pointed to it. Hey, Barney! Up here! Both of them went up the pole to the very top. Way, way down below was the tank full of water that the high diver jumped into for his act. By this time, the rest of the clowns were swarming up the pole with the furious boss clown in the lead. Only one thing left, said Fred. Jump! Down they went. First splash! As they staggered out of the tank, two more clowns hit the water. Then more, and more, and more.
Fred and Barney looked around for somewhere to hide. They were waiting to be caught by the clowns or arrested by the police when the circus owner came rushing up to them. Greatest act I ever saw, he shouted. Imagine, 28 clowns in one high dive. You two are the new star act in the show, and all the other clowns get razors. Fred looked at Barney, and Barney looked at Fred. They both had the same idea. Mr. Circus Owner, we like your circus very much. We thank you for your kind offer, but if it's all the same to you, we're going home and spend the rest of our day off in bed. You play too rough for us. Uh -huh.